Hey guys, this is Nicole um, from the customer success team at ConvertKit. I just want to walk you through really quickly one of our landing page styles. Um, this is probably one of our most popular landing pages um, because it is really cool um, and provides this double opt-in effect where your subscribers can come and see your beautiful page, click the button, and then get their opt-in form. Um, so that makes it a really popular landing page. Um, and I just want to kind of walk you through and give you a quick overview so you can get started and make a gorgeous page yourself. So when you're jumping into this landing page style, this is what you see. This is where you get started. Um, so you notice there's a headline, subheadline up here. There's your container. Um, and then here you can put in your copy. And then um, so this is that first page that your customer would land on. Um, you can upload your image here as well. One of the first things I want to point out is um, this subscribe button. Um, the subscribe is gray right now. If you were to leave it as it is, I want to show you what happens to the button. It looks kind of like this. Um, so you want to make sure that you get your copy on your button and it can be whatever you want. I like to say here. So that way your button has a call to action displayed. And the easy way to make sure that that's going to work is just notice that the text is now white instead of gray. Um, you can upload your image to this landing page by using our image uploader here. You'll notice that before you save it, it just kind of looks in this little box here. Um, that's not what your customers are going to see. What they're going to see is the image fill this whole container. So you can see that's more accurate to what they're going to see. And if you hit view, that little box goes away. Um, if you want to edit the color of your button, for example, the color of your background, you can do that using the magic wand up here, same as um, editing the colors of a form. Um, so you can change the color of your background. I'll just go into simple white. Um, you can add a pattern if you want. There's lots of really cool patterns in here you could add to your background. Just keep it simple for now. Um, you can do uh, the edit the color of your title text. So that's going to be this right here. And then edit the color of your button. So I just want mine to match a little bit more. So I'll put that in. Great. Okay, so now you're probably wondering, how do I edit that second part of the landing page, the opt-in form? So what you want to do is if you're looking at this button here, um, there is a text box where you can edit this text, and then there's a perimeter. So it's a little darker. Like you can see there's a very slight variation in color around that perimeter. As long as you click anywhere on here, that's going to take you to the edit page for this. So here you can edit the headline or the call to action. You can upload an image. You can add more description and you can even um, do some formatting here or add some HTML if you'd like. You can update the names of the fields. Um, you can change this button copy so it can be something different um, than the first one. And you can edit this anti-spam message down here as well. Um, so once you put all your copy in, this is what you'll see on the back end. So you'll see this is my, I put in the, what I wanted to say in all my headers and things like that. And then I didn't upload an image here. So now you see this is my final landing page. Um, so pretty simple, clean, um, very, you can make very beautiful, um, and you can do a lot more customization than I've done here. Um, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview and give you the tools that you needed, um, to make this landing page work for you. 
So hopefully that was helpful. And if I missed anything, um, please feel free to reach us, reach out to us using the app right down here. Um, or you can always email us at support at convertkit.com. Good luck guys.